If you're in Victoria, then you need to consider employer-sponsored migration rather relying on state nomination. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today I am joined by Mr. Don Susantha Katagampala, an accredited immigration law specialist and the head of Fairfield's Lawyers and Australia Gateway. As we come into the new financial year of 2021 and 2022, recently some changes have been made to the PMSOL, which is the Priority Migration Skilled Occupation List. Mr. Sasantha, would you please be able to enlighten us of some of these changes? Yes. Uh, just before the new financial year, on 22nd of June, the Minister for Immigration has announced the new changes to Priority Skilled Migration Occupation List. And that includes many new occupations such as accountants, IT professionals and many engineers. And the Minister has announced that this change has been done with the input by Australian businesses and business associations such as Chamber of Commerce and many other business associations. But the government is a very business friendly government and therefore the aim is to support the Australian businesses. So this priority occupation list mainly applies to employer sponsored visas, your migration options in going through the employer nomination pathways, then certainly this changes will give you an assurance to you that if you satisfy the requirements and if your employer satisfies the requirements, then you will be able to qualify for employer sponsored migration. It could be a temporary work visa and TSS visa subclass 482 to start with requires minimum two years work experience has to be post qualification work experience and then subsequently for 186 visa which is employer nomination permanent residence visa but again if you've got three years work experience post qualification then you may be able to qualify for direct entry subclass 186 which is employer nomination so this announcement of changes to the priority skill occupation list gives an employer and the applicants another assurance that they can qualify for employer-sponsored migration. It is a direction to a state and territory governments to choose the occupations they must nominate. So certain governments choose to follow the federal guidelines and we hope that South Australia, Western Australia and Queensland would announce those occupations on the, the uh, state-sponsored list. And New South Wales government has announced uh, many of these occupations in their priority occupation list for state to nominate the applicants. However, uh, certain governments choose not to. So the state government generally follow the federal directions mm -hmm. and um, so therefore uh, this is a good news. Yes, certainly. I'm sure a lot of people are breathing a sigh of relief right now. Those who are looking to get employer sponsorship and those businesses that are looking to sponsor their employees must be relieved to hear this news. Absolutely. So, is this good news for those who are looking to apply for the 189 visa? Uh, I think that you would assume that when your occupations announced as a priority occupation on the list, then you will qualify for independent skill subclass 189. This is a point tested visa scheme. And, but there are many IT professionals or accountants with 90 to 100 points awaiting for invitations. But the problem is that uh, the subclass 189 is a skill independent visa where the government or the skill select system cannot discriminate whether you are onshore or offshore. That means if you start inviting those uh, point-tested applicants, mm -hmm. then the invitation would of course go to people overseas. If we are in a pandemic, mm -hmm. we have a border closure, at least until mid-2022. So therefore this financial year, once the government is maintaining the migration levels to about 100,000 places, there are 85% cuts into offshore immigration. Therefore. The 189 applicants is unlikely to be invited under the point test. So therefore, 
People need to choose their migration options by considering employer-sponsored migration mm -hmm. or uh, state-nominated or regional-sponsored migration. So you need an employer to sponsor you or a regional or state governments to nominate you. So they, they are the options for the applicant, rather assuming that you would get the invitation under subclass 189. But if you want to collect your points, achieve the, the maximum points, that's not a bad idea because the 189 invitation should open up in the next financial year, 2022-23 financial year. Then if you got the right points, generally if you got about 90 points uh, in a certain occupation, then you would have a chance to be invited. So in this financial year, 189 is not the best option for people to go for. Yeah, the skill independent migration might not be the best option for this financial year. So Susantha, as you are aware, a lot of people are keen to come into Victoria. And recently with the changes that have been made to the state nominations, could you tell us how this would affect those people? Yes, long awaited Victorian state nominations being open on 7th of July. And lots of graduates, Victoria in Melbourne, they were hoping to have some opportunities either in metropolitan Victoria or regional Victoria. Unfortunately, in this bidding for numbers, the Victorian government really bid for less quota for skill migration. Therefore, the opportunities are very limited in Victoria. The opportunities in occupation list are to limited sectors, not widely open sectors. So therefore, even for 491, the ships and motor mechanics or uh, any other skill occupations may not qualify. The sectors are very limited. Therefore, Victoria doesn't give you good news. However, Western Australia, Perth had opened up their skill migration list. Even if you are not in Perth, if you, even if you are not residing in Perth, if you have a genuine intention to move to Perth with a genuine job offer, then you may be able to apply for your uh, skill nomination. But at the time of the consideration, you need to be residing and working in Perth. So it's got to be a genuine offer. And um, South Australia has a wide numbers of uh, skill migration opportunities for subclass 190 and 491. Whilst they're giving the opportunity, the priority for the graduates in that particular state, the other students who wish to move to uh, South Australia or Western Australia will have the opportunity to secure their migration. Northern Territory is maintaining the same numbers as the last year. And Northern Territory government has been fantastic in nominating applicants over the years. And uh, if you're in Victoria, then you need to consider employer-sponsored migration rather relying on state nomination. Thank you, Susantha, for joining us and giving us some very important information which is crucial to those who are looking to secure their PR migration pathway. That is all for today and we will see you again in the next session.